All right, we're here. So, let's get this started. Tell me, how the hell do you summon an avatar? You really are a brat, aren't you? Is that how you ask someone to help you? Your boss is the one who put me in GU. Shouldn't you guys be asking for my help? You damn! How dare you speak of Master Yada like? Okay, okay, that's enough. Listen, we didn't come here to fight you two. I know that. Yada already told you, but let's recap. Our characters were originally created by CC Corporation several years ago as part of a project. That's what the Epitaph users are, right? So why does this make our characters so special? That's a CC Corp secret. Non-disclosure agreement? Actually, I don't know the answer to that. What about you, Pi? <sighs> anyway, Epitaph users are characters that have the ability to use avatars. To put it roughly, it's kind of like a transformation of your character data in the game. The power of an avatar can be surmised as an alteration of data. Altering data? You mean data drain? Yep. That's one of the abilities an avatar has. Try edge use data drain to put me back to level one. So, he's an epitaph user too? But wait, he didn't use an avatar. Then what the hell is he? Man, I'm getting confused. By activating their data-altering abilities, Epitaph users are able to gain powers that far surpass the parameters included in the original game design. But that doesn't mean they can do anything. There are certain restrictions governing Epitaph users as well. Soon, you'll come to understand that. So to summon avatars, I just have to understand those rules? Basically. How? It's right here. Huh? Inside your heart, the player's own feelings and willpower are the origins of avatars. Yeah, right. Epitaph users are still just characters in a game, though, right? How does a bunch of binary data get influenced by feelings and will? Epitaph users' characters are different from normal characters. Different how? We're linked to our characters, not just through our controllers and goggles, but through our hearts as well. Haven't you ever felt something like that, Haseo? When would I have felt that? Wait a minute. What the? Something is. Something is starting to. It's. It's growing. Let's hurry up and begin your lesson. Begin? You want to learn how to summon your avatar, don't you? Of course. Then, we'll battle here until you get it. Huh? Battle? Yes. Battles are the quickest way for you to sharpen your consciousness. And that will help you to awaken your avatar. Huh. So basically, you guys don't really know the proper way to do this, do you? <laughs> You've got us there. For Pi and me, the entire process was more like an accident when we awakened our avatars. But that accident was fate. For now, let's fight this field's boss. Well, sure. So it seems like they don't really have any goddamn clue how to summon your avatar. You just kind of got to like... Do a good thing, understand rules, and hope your heart releases it, I guess. So, for now though, we got a few things we got to do. So, I'm probably going to go around and get all these altars done, and uh, level up some more. Fight all the guys, get an ohm shell, very nice. So again, I do plan to fight all the enemies in... What the fuck was that? Oh, cool. I do plan to, um, fight all the enemies in the area, just to, uh, get it done. 
So let's show off these guys. They're gonna be a little harder than dudes before. Ow. Well, these guys hurt. Need to be a little careful. I mean, I got, I got Pai and Kuhn, so I'm not too concerned. I'm going to probably be leveling up quite a bit here. But, need to be a little careful, because they do some damage. Don't want to die. Oh, God. I'd like to sneak up if I can. You're not getting away. Um, I'll show up the first few battles here, since it's a new place. Oh my god. I couldn't defend her anything, so I was like, oh, well, shit. So that sucked. Well, that was my bad. Luckily, the retry isn't, like, annoying. So I don't have to worry too much about retrying. Luckily. Rengeki bonus, boys. There we go. Get Blade Thorns. So, I just need to be pretty careful here. But when I get comboed like that, I'm like, fuck, I'm screwed. So, that kind of sucks. But, okay, so what is up here? Oh, interesting. How dare you come to me. You come to, into my house? Alright, dude. You need to fucking stop. Damn it. Come into my house? Eat my food? Open my fridge? Yeah, I'm getting a lot of level ups. We're gonna be leveling up like a fucking motherfucker here. So, I'm excited. Fairy's Orb. Nice. I'll use one the next time I go into dungeon. I'm guessing it's only for, like, the first- the floor that you're on, though. Well, we gotta figure it out. Alright, and what- yeah, we already- what are these things? Goblin mages? Oh god, that means magic. Eh, we're okay. Alright, after this fight, I'll start chopping them out. Just so you don't have to watch me beat up dudes over and over again. Getting some shit, though, here, which is really nice. Um, let's see. So there's nothing really in this area. But I am... Okay, so let's go up here first. Alright. Let's get this one done. Here's our chance! Alright, so we finished that fight up. I almost died again, so that's great. So we get a simple water idol. Is that any good for me? Well, I can't even put it on, so I guess not. Oh, um, shell? Oh, um, shell? Alright. So, yeah, okay. Just gonna go around and do everything, pretty much. <gasps> Jim Jim. Ooh! You know, I kinda have way too many Jim Jims, actually. I should probably calm down. Alright, how about you guys? Got them done. Also got a level up from this fight. Yeah, we're going. We're getting there. We might actually reach level 10 soon. Guys, that's insane, dude. Remember when we were like 133? Fuck that shit, dude. 10? Hell yeah. Thank you. Oh, shit. Thank you. That's nice of you. That's awesome. You're not getting away. 
Already got that done. Did two Ringekis in that fight, so I guess it does stack. I didn't think it stacked. So we got like 50 extra experience just for doing that. Hello, buddy. It's that again. Course unknown. Fuel insufficient. Function shut down. Emergency landing. Passing life form detected. Begin fuel request. Beep. Please inject chim spheres. I mean, I have some. I have like a hundred, so take them. I need to salute this guy. Goodbye. My good friend. So we get a health drink for that. What a fucking weirdo. <laughs> He's so weird! Alright, so... I guess all we gotta do now is go over there, but I do want to go up there and kill these guys real quick. No, don't look at me. I am... I am small child. I am just small child. Here's our chance. Still works. God, you guys got fucked. Yeah, you guys died real quick. I guess I'm just gonna leave that in, because I, I totally forgot I'm cutting fights out in that one for some reason. So I was just like, eh, whatever. <laughs> it's not even that long, really. God, where's the exit? Oh, there it is. <laughs> I was like, I'm stuck here. So, next up... Don't have too much to go. We just gotta go down there, grab that chest. And then we can beat up a dude. We're getting there. We're gonna learn how to do it, maybe. Maybe it's bullshit. Alright, got that fight done. Got Rangeki boys. Almost level 10. And get a simple necklace. I uh, don't really need any chim chim, so I'm just gonna ignore that. Up here. And there are some dudes. These guys really hurt. I really need some new shit, honestly. This'll be quick. Got double Rengeki, so we're gonna level up. We were gonna get one without it, but hey, gotta mention it. Level 10, very nice. And that should be this area, unless there is someone over here. Gotta fight everyone. No, all right. I mean, we, we did some mad leveling just from that, honestly. Um, I. Oh, I can't. I thought I'd be able to heal. Damn it. Oh, well. I don't th know if it's going to matter, but I'm going to heal myself just in case. Well, let's try and get it with this guy. But how the hell am I supposed to activate the power? Try to figure that much out for yourself. Keep the image of summoning an avatar in your mind. Okay, the image of summoning an avatar. Summoning an avatar. I'll summon you, avatar. Come on. Come on now. Come on. Come on! <laughs> Haseo? Hey. Huh? Don't cry later. Oh, okay, I guess we're going. Jesus. I'll be back here. Actually. Still a beast awakening. And he is fucking destroyed. That's how you fucking do it. Dry robe. Haseo, are you doing okay? Hmm? I said shut up! 
I'm concentrating. I will summon it, so just shut up and watch. <sighs> Haseo, you've reached your limit. Let's call it a day. What's going on? Why won't my avatar appear? Uh, well... Maybe the problem's your lack of talent. What did you say? Even if you are one of the Epitaph users, if you, the player, don't know how to use it, well, then it's pointless. Yeah, right. You two just aren't teaching me the right way. Listen, if you guys can't even keep your promise to me, then the deal that I had with GU is off. Idiot. If you can't summon an avatar, then we don't need you to help us now. <clears throat> Come on, Pi. That's enough. Let's just call it a day, all right? All right. Let's head back, okay? Well, I did cool things. I thought I got successful surprise attacks on everything. Unless, does the boss count? Oh well. And I missed an object to destroy. Eh, okay. Cat's eye, cool. Don't worry about it. We don't expect you to awaken that easily. Better luck next time. <sighs> anyway, just rest up for now. When you've got your stamina back, we'll give it another shot and try again. Well, see ya. Frankly, I'm glad that you weren't able to summon your avatar. Kuhn and I. Now do you understand why we needed two Epitaph users to support you? No. It's so we'll have enough power to suppress your avatar in the event it should go out of control or something. Suppress? Yes. If your avatar went berserk, we would not have hesitated to use Data Drain on you. In order to stop you, no matter what effect it may have had on you. Well, that's just cruel. Is it? Great risk comes with strength that is too powerful. Huh? Neither Kuhn nor myself can completely control the power of our avatars. Power that has escaped its user's hand will do nothing but destroy. This power really shouldn't even be used at all in the first place. But you, you plan to use that power. Am I wrong? If you had gotten your avatar, you would be thrilled to use it. Even if it was the exact same power that hurt those that are most precious to you. You seem to know me well. Well, of course I do. It comes natural to me, don't you see? You and I are very much alike. Huh? I think it would be best if you didn't get involved in these matters anymore. Summoning an avatar won't make you happy. That I know for certain. You don't want me to get involved, huh? Well, for your information, if I could do that, I wouldn't be in the mess I'm in right now. Well, she's just trying to help. You don't need to be a big baby about it, Haseo. So we did get some money. I don't think I can actually go out and get stuff with it, but... I, I want new stuff. Does anyone have cool things for me? No. 
Everything's super high level. No. Let me go run out to the store real quick. Let me go get a gallon of milk. Or something. I just want to go look. And then we'll go out and read some mail. We'll get our avatar eventually. I'm not really in a big rush. I just want to level up. I'm level 10 now, so that's pretty good. How are we doing on, like... So, 10 attack. Okay. We're, we're getting there. Uh, let's see. I probably can't even get anything, but... I'm just gonna, gonna go look. Oh, 14! Uh, it's one attack. Why not? We have all, the, all these blades. I could probably use them as, like, trading material now. Dry robe. Could get that to Adelie. Even though it sells for a lot, but oh well. Anything I can get level 10 armor. Fuck yeah, boys. I actually really need that. How much did that help me out? Like two? Cool. Yeah, that's all I need. Very nice. Alright, I'm happy. So now we can log out. I just wanted to have something. Does he, it doesn't have to be a lot. I just want, I want a small upgrade. Got some email. So let's see what we can... Oh my god, that's a lot of email. Read GU. Infection increase. So Coon's not actually Coon and Pi, they're not actually employed by CC Corp. They're just they're just people helping out. I think Yada Yada's like actually administrator though. Yeah, so Pi. Can you tell me more about Pi? Yeah, I guess you're right. Eh, sure, let's ask about Pi. Guildmaster change request. I don't know why they're making me the fucking guildmaster, but okay. Talking to the NPC admin. Alright, so I guess we can go there and- Guildmaster, huh? Well, I guess I'll go to at home then. Sure. Canard's goal is to help out beginners by giving them support. We don't concentrate on leveling up and stuff. The fuck is the point then? I'm gonna level up, you can't tell me what to do. Bad boring. I don't like being part of a, of canard already. Oh, I didn't know that. Guilds aren't exclusive, so you can join whatever you want. Alright. That's kind of cool. Let me check the form real quick. Nothing in the Upkalu. I'm waiting for the Upkalu. I want more art. I'm not changing this background until I see more art. So I hope you're fucking ready for this shit. So I guess that's good for right now. Um, I guess we can check out at home. And see what the... What that's all about. Well, since I am the guild master after all, I should check out canards at home. Alright. So let's go check it out. 
do I need to do anything right now? We haven't really gotten any more. Like, no, just Gale Blade. I'm waiting for something cool. Alright, so... Let's go ch stop at Central real quick. I'm gonna go take a look at, um... At this guy. Nothing new. Alright. Then we need to go to Mercenary. I really like the menu system in this game. I don't know, it just feels very sleek. Like, look at this shit. Go in the menu. I don't know, I really like this. It's super cool to me. So, Canard Guild Rank 1. Okay, oh, I see dual swords right there. So as you level up dual swords, you'll probably get more skills. So we're, we're getting there. We're, la we're around halfway. And so a new skill. So at home, let's check out Canard. 